I'm Dave Barnes and I'm a professor of space and planetary robotics in the Department of Computer Science, which is part of the Institute of Mass Physics and Computer Science. Well, going back to sort of pre-2003, our involvement in Beagle 2 uh, was primarily with the robotic arm and with the stereo camera system. Post sort of Beagle 2, we got involved uh, with the same sort of colleagues and those colleagues uh, actually lead the panoramic camera instrument for the ExoMars mission. PanCam is a multispectral stereo camera system. It also has a high resolution camera. One of my really key research areas is making sure that we can reproduce the natural colors of Mars. It's like any camera system. Uh, you need to do what we call a white balance on it so that the colors are correct. The key to that is having a calibration target. This is a little prototype, and this will actually sit on top of the rover deck. So it could be the flight model of this will go to Mars. Mars has, a, has very high ultraviolet irradiation, um, which does bleach colors. We realized actually that perhaps a way to pursue this was to use effectively stained glass. We all know going into, into medieval churches, etc., and looking at sort of stained glass windows, um, then as far as we are, we are able to tell, the colours are as good today as they were many hundreds of years ago. Yeah, yeah, I think some of our hardware, I think it has its own passport. It's been out to uh, places like uh, Svalbard, uh, our camera system, it's been to Iceland, uh, it's been out to the Atacama Desert. We've even taken them to Karak Bay, which is sort of 10 minutes away from here. It provides a rich set of images that we capture under different lighting conditions, different uh, terrains that help us actually uh, develop our algorithms. We can also put these cameras actually uh, on our own uh, half-scale ExoMars rover within our PAT lab, our planetary analog terrain laboratory. We have our sort of Mars simulant terrain, uh, learning how we're going to uh, operate the rover in the context of stopping and taking images, spotting science targets and then traversing over to them. 